everyone, welcome to my Rite Aid haul. Um, I'm just bringing you uh, just a little bit more of what I did this week. Um, I just wanted to share a few things with you guys. Um, I did mention in my previous video um, in regards to the physician's formula. So this is still for the week of December 28th to January the 3rd. Um, for physician's formula this week, they have a great deal. Um, if you spend $15, you will be receiving back $10 and up. Ups. If you're not a couponer, if you are just beginning to coupon, this is a great thing, a great deal to start off your couponing. Um, if you're just wanting to try the new BB line from Physicians Formula, I would highly recommend to do it this week. Um, if you have a friend that can lend you their 20% off card, that would be great. If you don't, it's still not a bad deal. If you can find the peelies on the new products, it makes it even more of an exceptional deal because it turns it into a money maker or really, really cheap, um, a really, really cheap transaction for pretty good products. Um, so as you can see here, I did the BB creams, the beauty balm. <laughs> these are like kind of like a beauty highlighting. Um, the claims on these products, and these are really new, um, fairly new. Um, as you can see here, it's it, 10 beauty benefits to this BB uh, balm. <laughs> it moisturizing, soothing, protecting, um, smoothing, hydrating, conditioning, glow boosting, perfecting, mm -hmm. line softening, and line wearing. And it has an SPF of 20, um, which I think is kind of silly because it is something just for your cheeks. Or I can I can see that being a um, like a lip product, <coughs> I suppose, kind of like a lip balm. Um, so these are a new... Uh, formula from physicians it's been out about a month or so and these have three dollar peelies on them good luck trying to find those because I had to go to several stores and almost all the stores that I went to either they weren't out or the peelies were missing because people um, they just go through and pluck them all out and it's kind of frustrating but we all do that sometimes however we don't, I'm sure most of us don't go ham on a display. So I actually was able to find a pink one, which I'm excited for. It's very pink and a natural peach. Um, I can do swatches if you guys like. Um, again, if you guys are looking to try the Super BB um, new line, do it this week at Rite Aid. Um, I will be going back and picking up the concealer as well as the other formulas. Those only had $3 peelies, but if I can try them, um, next to nothing and see if I like this product hopefully uh, replacing a expensive brand that I have uh, that would be great so um, so those are with your gold they're 556 I picked up three of them making it 1668 which helped me reach that $15 threshold that I needed um, with the three dollar pillies off of each one that took off nine dollars and I paid seven sixty eight and I got back ten dollars which makes it a two thirty two money maker for taking home these babies with me which is a great deal because I was technically paid to bring them home and try them out I couldn't be happier um, the next thing that I did is these doves um, I linked a video on my previous um, I made a deal on my previous uh, video these are on clearance, and I did have a link on to what exactly which ones they were. Um, these are the Dove Go Sleeveless, the very baby blue greenish cap. Those are on clearance for $1.44. When you purchase two of the Dove products this week, you get back a $2 up. So you pay $2.88, no coupons or anything. I wish we did. Um, out of pocket, and you can get back two dollars. So essentially, it makes forty-four cents a piece. Um, I went to the expensive store. Um, sometimes Rite Aids do vary from brand and um, from location to location in price. So overall, today I went in with ten dollars in ups is what I was able to use, and I got back my two dollar ups from the Dove and the ten dollar physicians. So paid fifty six cents dollar eighty two in tax two forty two I saved nineteen dollars in coupon savings and twelve eighty seven in gold savings so not a bad deal um, I went up two dollars in ups so I'm excited because I'm there I go reestablishing my ups so super excited um, so that is it for that um, I will be going back just to grab like I said more physicians formula if you guys are interested leave me a comment below and there's something that I wanted to talk to you guys that I knew nothing of I haven't really heard anything any buzz anything online so why not take the opportunity to talk about it here 
So yesterday I went to go return the necklace like I said I would, and the cashier refused to return these for me. Um, I, he said that Rite Aid released a new return policy to where now um, you are not able to get back the coupon value of the product. So let's say this is $3 and I had a $3 coupon, so technically it was free with a coupon. I cannot return it. They will not give me back my money. Um, or let's say it was $4, I had a $3 coupon, so I technically paid a dollar. They would only be giving me back the $1. So if you make issues or if you make errors and you use the coupon for the wrong product, like I did with this one, um, they will not give you back your coupon, even if you just used it. They don't have to. So what I did, I was kind of irritated because that cashier, I hate that right aid. That cashier is a policy spitter, and he's rude about it. Like, it would be one thing if he would be polite about it and be like, no, ma'am, I can't use it. No. He tells me, he goes on and tells me about a story, how he had to sign off on it, and how people are doing this and this and this. Like, I did not know. Um, but he refused to return it. He made me feel kind of like a crook. And I won't be going back there. Like, I was almost tempted to call corporate on him, but that doesn't really get you nowhere. I just wish his customer service was a little bit better. Um, being a customer service manager myself, I know what customer service is. Um, so what I did is I printed out the store policy. On here is, um, does unfortunately state on here, um, they do have a updated coupon policy. The thing is that it kind of contradicts itself is that it, I feel that it kind of contradicts itself in the fact that it says Rite Aid offers 100% satisfaction guaranteed policy on products. We will gladly offer a credit exchange Rite Aid merchandise return card or cash refund on products returned with the receipt as detailed in these return guidelines. So, Let's see. So, um, it kind of makes me want, like, do I even take my receipt? Can I just return it without a receipt and not have issues with it? Um, so, coupons. When making a return for a product that had a coupon attached, Rite Aid cannot refund cash for the value of the coupon and cannot return the coupon that was used. Um, this is something that he says it's new. So before, when I would do refunds, they would just return the whatever the product cost. Um, and I've never had any issues with that. But this cashier made it a big issue and made me feel pretty crappy about myself. So I'm just kind of interested in what you guys have to say about this. If you guys have ever experienced anything like this, if this is something that is just at that Rite Aid, or what the deal is. Um, if you guys can leave me a comment below discussing this that would be amazing um but if you guys have a chance go through the return policy um like i said what if i'm not happy with a nexus what if it is a crappy product and i don't want to use it and i want to take it back for my money i can't anymore um so i just feel that that contradicts itself like i just wanted credit to put towards the nexus that i need to get to be able to meet my ups because i grabbed the wrong ones um anyways guys thanks for watching and as always um i hope you guys have a wonderful new year's and thanks for subscribing and watching my videos thank you so much Bye bye